hello guys welcome back to my channel if you are new here i am say and i am a fellow love nikki and shining nikki player i'm here to teach you little tips and tricks about starry corridor and also share some everyday gameplay tips as well regarding both of the games make sure to like comment and subscribe and of course hit the bell notification button to not miss any of the future uploads the first thing I want to talk about is the new pavilion suit and as we can see it is a dark skin tone suit and we have been asking for these but I feel that it's still a little bit problematic given that the majority of the times we do get a dark skin tone suit it's either wasteland or exotic or just way over the top. It almost feels as if the devs have this sort of expectation of what a dark skin tone people are and it just doesn't sit well with me and I don't know if I'm the only one who feels this way. It's not my intention to be offensive or anything, it's just I wish we had more suits under maybe Apple, Lilith, and even North that are, you know, dark skin tone, simple suits, everyday suits, that's what I'm talking about. I wish they, they don't always go with this like wasteland or exotic route, like we do not own a single dark skin tone north suit like i get it you know north and all but people migrate we also do not have a single dark skin tone lilith suit and here's another issue that the game is kind of trying to tell us that the dark skin tone suits are not cute they're not childish or sweet because if you notice almost all of the dark skin tone suits are under sexy and mature tag so i feel like that's another thing to work on but now we're going to talk about the recharges because the pavilion is actually a debut so we cannot check it out in the chinese gallery but we can check these suits so this beauty and of course we have another suit it is a five dollar suit and what am i talking about here is a wasteland dark skin tone now i'm fine with it i'm fine with it but like i said we just need more versatility i feel like but yes, so we're gonna go into the actual gut gallery on the Chinese server and we are going to break these two suits down and see whether or not they are worth it. We are in the gallery and we're going to start off with this suit because I'm pretty sure that everybody is pretty interested in it. So this is about 25 USD, so she is pretty pricey. Let's make sure that she is worth it. So this is the hair and to be honest, this is probably one of my new absolute favorite hairs just because I really love the water theme and you know the mermaids and stuff so this would definitely come in handy if I were to get it. I'm not because I can't afford it, she's pretty expensive but I really wish that I could just because of this hair. Now we are moving on to the pose. Now there's a little bit too much going on here for my taste because i don't know like her dress is like way 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 all over the place and the colors and everything just don't mesh all too well together for my taste but it's fine i guess i just i don't know the her arm pose seems so amazing and i really wish that it was like a separate pose as well but you know we get what we get so the suit does come with a makeup and it comes with two movable backdrops so this is one of them this is super pretty and here is another one i think it's this one so let's let's check right here so here is that like a big chain backdrop and these are the whales so both of these items are actually pretty big but let's see so okay so these are both movable backdrops but to be honest they seem kind of not versatile like they're pretty they're super nice decoration but i really can't find an actual way of when you're going to use it even if you want to create water or something these droplets seem a way too cartoonish to actually work out now this is a pretty cool item but again i feel like it's a little bit too cartoonish but i feel like you can definitely use the chains separately if you just yeet the rest of the item off screen it should work pretty fine this is her probably a headpin could be a hairpin could be a headpiece we're gonna see and probably the earrings so let's go and check her out in the normal pose here we go her outfit is actually pretty nice and we can see that this item is going to be off screen so you can't use it in a competition you can't really use it anywhere outside star corridor because it's not going to be visible i don't really understand the point of these items that are like entirely off screen that you can only use in the corridor that makes them so much less worth it 
It would have been better if it was like right underneath her feet, but I guess they place these backdrops according to the special pose, which I feel like is kind of a mistake. But again, it is what it is. There's nothing we can do about it other than accept it. So her hair is absolutely stunning. I am loving it in both normal and special pose. And to be honest, these two hairs look like two completely different hairs in the normal pose and in the special pose. Like the color is the same, but nothing else is. And I find that really cool because it feels like you just get two completely different hairs. So this is this going to be just me? fangirling over this hair and like not liking anything else <laughs> let's see okay so this is the dress it's pretty it's actually pretty and again i always really 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 appreciate these dresses that don't have any sleeves i've said it before because then you can just attach any post gloves or post coat to it and it's going to look amazing this is i'm guessing the coat i don't really like it all that much personally and here we can see the shoes. They're just normal shoes. There's nothing too special about them. And I'm not sure what this item is supposed to be. Like, I can see it. It's probably a leglet, could be, or even hosiery. But I can see it. So it kind of looks like a mermaid tail. So that's pretty dope. This is the necklace and the gloves. Right, and we can also see her makeup. It's pretty nice. I do like her eye color. I feel like it is unique and I love her face expression. Like the whole makeup in its own isn't anything that special, but I still really, really love the eye color. I think that it's super nice. Here we can see her in the HD pictures, see how she actually looks like. Here is the backdrop in color. We can see it, so there is the chain. And it's a pretty cool item, I guess. You can potentially play with it in the corridor pretty well. You can make some pretty cool dreamy effects with it. Like turn it into a mirror, like Nikki going through the mirror or something. This is the little whale. So the second item is this right here. This is what I'm talking about. The water is pretty cartoonish to actually be useful. But it still is a very pretty item. And there she is, of course. Her hair is absolutely stunning. Like I said, it looks completely different in this special pose and here is a normal pose close up we can see all the details that went into her dress the all the like little pearls and the silvery stuff it's really gorgeous and of course here is a close up of the special pose we can see the makeup she has something underneath her eyes it might be a tattoo it might be a face item and it might just sadly be a part of the makeup, something that we cannot remove, which I hope isn't the case. But you can see like ocean in her eyes and it looks absolutely stunning. And here is more of the dress. Here we can see the little like probably hosiery or I don't know, leglet item that looks kind of like a tail, which is pretty unique. I do like that. I do like that. And here is a fish, the other backdrop accessory. The little blue fishes are actually pretty nice. So I really do like that. And we are now taking a look at the $5 suit. So there she is. This is her hair. We can't really see it well because she has a veil, but it's very pretty. So, and this is the pose. Now, a big problem that I have with this pose, and I have the same problem with the Wasteland Jewel, is that the name of the suit? The one with the elephant and like the galaxy curtain? Is that these suits that have veils as a part of a full body pose are so unversatile because so many hairs are going to clip through this veil and it's just not going to look good. So you are very limited as to what hairstyles you can use with these and I really don't like that. Let's just check the rest. So this is the headpiece that she has and the earrings. But yes, I feel like they could have made it a little bit different. Like instead of a veil, make it like a scarf, just so that we're not that limited over what we can, like what hairstyle we can put on her. She does come with two versions. So here is the default skin tone as they call it. It looks the same. And of course the normal pose. Now, I really do like her outfit as I really like the waistline clothes. This top is very beautiful. The skirt is absolutely stunning. And of course the shoes. I always love these waistline types of shoes or hosiery. I don't really know where these are going to be. But they really look amazing with all this jewelry and stuff. And here is a veil, a very unversatile veil in the special pose, but it's super pretty nonetheless. And of course, the necklace and her bracelets. I love these bracelets so much. Now, I'm not sure if this is 
going to be like a new skin tone because yeah it's probably not it's probably just in there like that but yeah so this suit is like i said is going to be five dollars so like a monthly card suit she doesn't have a makeup as we can see but i mean if you need to renew your monthly card i'd say her outfit is pretty cool so yeah that's all I have for you guys today. Thank you so much for watching. If you have any questions or future video ideas suggestions, make sure to leave them in the comments down below and I will get back to you. See you in the next video.